All right, we're at Heiko's house, South Florida Fishing Channel. We're gonna knock out a fish cleaning table for him. Ooh, been a long time coming. It's one of them uh, yeehaws, isn't it? Yeah, yeehaw. <laughs> so the boys got the frame set up. They're getting her up to level, then they're gonna grade it out. They ain't messing around. They're gonna use fast setting concrete so they can start laying blocks in just a few hours. Let's get it on. So they got the pad graded. I'm getting ready to throw some water on it and pack her down nice and tight. Pack her down. Hey, look at that rock. That's a pretty one. It is. I want to keep that one for a souvenir. So the inside dimension of this form is five foot. So we cut this rebar six inches short where you have three inches on each side. That keeps the spalling away. You need at least three inches to keep the spalling away. And spalling is when the rust comes through the concrete? What happens is, it's actually amazing how powerful that rebar starts to rust and the expansion of it expanding blows the concrete out. So the fellas are tying the mat, starting the, starting the mat, tying it up. Number five rebar, three inches off the edge, keep the spalling away. Bringing the steel mat up to grade. There you go, that way we got room between the steel and the dirt for the concrete to get under it. Starting the concrete mixing process. Okay, we got about two inches of the normal 3000 PSI quick creep down. Now we're gonna switch up to the fast setting stuff. That way we can get some blocks laid on this today. We'll finish it off with the fast setting. Got the concrete laid down, smoothing her out. We'll let her set up a little bit. We'll probably throw some red line on top of it to suck up that water. Matt's sprinkling some red line on top help it dry up quicker, get rid of the water that was laying on top, get her to set up faster. Matt's trawling that red line in now, get the top of this to set up quick. Heiko's killer view in the morning. Yeah, baby. Got his John boat up and running. That's a lot of fun right there, let me tell you. Michael's got some honeybees for dipping his shrimp in. <laughs> Coconut shrimp with honey. That's what I'm talking about. So we're adding some number five rebar to the block cells. We're going to pour them block cells full. That way if you get some tide water coming up or whatever, it's not going to take down the top. Matt's filling up the cells. We're going to top them off, smooth them out, and be ready to mount the fish cleaning table on it. Topped off one side, getting ready to start the other one. All right, got all their spacers pulled out. Matt's almost got the second block filled up full of concrete. Getting ready to throw a little stuckle finish on it, smooth finish. Throwing a smooth coat on it now. Beautiful. So I got the beginning coat on right now. Let that set up a little bit. Nice little smooth coat done. Set the top up here. We'll wait till tomorrow to screw that down. Let all the concrete dry up. Looking pretty good. What do you think, Heiko? I think it's looking good. I'm ready to fillet a fish on. Right on, man. Mm-hmm. All right. 
one day fish cleaning table for my buddy Heiko. We don't mess around. And remember, whatever it is you want to do in life, you got to get after it. <laughs>